three. Yeah. It's... So what you see in front of you here in the camera is uh, the classics department, uh, Chancellor College, University of Malawi. And it was a wonderful opportunity through Mark Asher, who linked us with the um, uh, Lana and Madiri in the Center for uh, Hellenic Studies for us to, to afford us an opportunity to read the segment on the, uh, of the uh, Odyssey. Um, so I am Steve Nyaminandu, and yeah. I will let the others introduce themselves. So Mike Chapu, uh, Patrick Kashimanga, Chikondi Medson, uh, lecturer in classics. Yeah, so you can see we, we, we have among us our, our two classics students. Um, three are members of staff, so we'll be reading the Odyssey as we actually um, chose uh, the, I mean the um, cycle episode, book nine, and we'll, we'll read it in English and in Chichewa. And in Chichewa, uh, we'll be so uh, particular because we'll be reading uh, the um, the adaptation which was written by Aloysius Aemirius Zico, whom I had also an acquaintance with. I worked with him at some point in the formulation of examinations, and he wrote um, the Odyssey um, um, in terms of uh, that uh, um, episode in the cave. Um, uh, um, and it's so interesting because it's in the, uh, uh, it has been in the uh, secondary school curriculum for a long time, and uh, I was privileged to have learned that uh, as well. So the first reading will be done by Mark, um, uh, will be done by uh, Chikondi Medson, so you read in Greek, and then we'll be uh, going to English, and then uh, Chichewa, and the, then we'll go back to English. Right. Over to you. All right. Uh, so basically I'll be introducing the setting, like where the cave is, the airline itself, what the cyclope is. Uh, I'll be reading there for, from lines 105 uh, to 151. So my, my, my reading will be in the, in the uh, Greek hexameter verse. Enten de protero pleomen akachemenoi etor, kuklopon des gaian hupefialen atemiston, he comet, hoirate oisi pepeitotes atanatoisin, uta futeusin hesin futon, uta roosin alata agasparta gaianero tapanta fuontai, viroi katiltai edampeloi, Hai teferusin oinon eristafilon, kai sfin dio sombros aexei. Toisin dut agorae buleforoi ute temistes, al hoige upselon oreo naiu sicarena en spesi glafiroisi, temistewe de hekastos, paido neda lokon udalero na legusi. Neso sepe telache ya parekli menos titanistai, gaies kiklopon ute scheron ute apotelu, les. And the Aiges Apeiresia Gigas in Agriae. Umen gar patos anthropon aperike, udemin esorhineus kinegetae, hoite cathuilen agia pascus in kirufas, oreon ethepontes. Ut ara poemnes in catasketae ut arotoisin, ale gaspatus canero te sema tapanta and don kereue, bosque de te mecadas aigas. O gar kiklope sinez para miltopare woi, udandres neon enitektones, hoi te kamo yeneas euselmus, hai kenteleo yen hekasta as te pantroponik neumenai, hoi yete polandres epalelus neus in peros italasan. Hoi kes fin kainesu neuktimene ne kamonto. O men gar tika kege feroe de kenhoria panta. En men gar leimones halos polio yo paroktas hidrelloloi malakoi. Malke aktitoi am peloyeyen. En daros sisileye. Malak en batileyo naye. Es horas amoen epe mala pier udas. En delimen eormos hinu reopes matosestin. Ut eunas baleyen ute plumnesi anapsai. Al epkel santes mein a chronon es hoke na teon timos epetrine kai ev neusos in aetai. Autar epikratos limenos rei aglaon hudor krene upus peius. Peride ageiroi pefiuasin. Enta kate pleomen kai tiste os a gemoneuen nukta di of naien ude profainet destai. Aerga perine usibateien Ude selene uranothen prufaine kataiketo denepesin. 
enthusiast and Nelson and Cedric and Dr. Moisin, Ut U and Kumata Mikrak, Lindomen, a Protic Helsin, a Sidomen, Prin Neas, a Selmus, a Pikel Sai. Kelsa says, the Neusika tail lomen is Tia Panta, a decay out toy bem and a piragmin italases. Enter the Apoprixantes, a main amen a odian. As soon as as soon as rosy fingered dawn appeared, we explored the island, marveling at what we saw. The nymphs, daughters of Egypt's bearing Zeus, disturbed the mountain goats, driving them towards my hungry comrades. Quickly we pulled our curved bows and long spears from the ships, and split in three ways, began to hunt them, and the gods soon gave us a fine enough kill. Nine goats were given to each of the twelve ships in my command, and there were ten left for me. So all day long, till the sun set, we sat and feasted on copious meat and mellow wine. Since each of the crews had drawn off a large supply in jars when we took the Sikonis sacred citadel, and some of the red was left. Looking across to the land of the neighbouring Cyclopes, we could see smoke and hear their voices and the sound of their sheep and goats. Sun set and darkness fell and we settled to our rest on the shore. As soon as rosy-fingered dawn appeared, I gathered my men together saying, the rest of you loyal friends stay here while I and my crew take ship and try and find out who these men are whether they are cruel, savage and lawless, or good to strangers, and in their hearts fear the gods. With this I went aboard and ordered my crew to follow and loose the cables. They boarded swiftly and took their place on the benches, then sitting in their rows, struck the grey water with their oars. When we had reached a nearby shore, we saw a deep cave overhung with laurels at the cliff's edge, close to the sea. Large herds of sheep and goats were penned there at night, and round it was a raised yard walled by deep-set stones, tall pines and high-crowned oaks. There a giant spent the night, one that grazed his herds far off, alone and keeping clear of others, lived in lawless solitude. He was born a monster and a wonder, not like any ordinary human, but like some wooded peak of the high mountains that stands there isolated to our gaze. Then I ordered the list of my loyal friends to stay there and guard the ship. While I selected the 12 best men and went forward, I took with me a god's skin filled with dark sweet wine that Marlon son of Ea Thins, priest of Apollo, guardian god of Ismas, had given me, because out of respect we protected him, his wife and child. He offered me splendid gifts, seven talents of well wrought guard, and a silver mixing bowl, and wine, twelve jars in all, sweet and mixed wine, a divide draught, None of his serving men and maids knew of this store. Only he and his loyal wife and one housekeeper. When they drank that honeyed blood wine, he would pour a full cup into twenty of water. And the book hooked that rose from the mixing bar was wonderfully sweet. In, true, in truth, no one could hold back. I filled a large gold skin with the wine and took it along with some food in a bag. Since my instinct told me the, the giant would come at us quickly, a savage being with huge strength, knowing nothing of light or law. Soon we came to the cave and found him absent. He was grazing his well-fed frogs in the fields. So he went inside, so we went inside and marveled at its contents. There, there were baskets full of cheeses and pans crowded with lambs and kids, each flock with its fistlings, later ones and newborn. 
separated. The pearls and balls for, mi for milking, all solidly made, were swimming with quail. At first, my men begged me to take some chases and go, then to drive the lambs and keys from the pens down to, sw to the swift ship and set sail. But I would not listen, though it would have been best wishing to see the giant himself and test his hospitality. When he, di when he did appear, he approved no joy to my men. <clears throat> yeah, we now switch on to our Brampini. Uh, you can have uh, the, the cover of the book, uh, and the, the hero Brampini, uh, that's Odysseus. Odysseus. And uh, Brampini uh, in Chichewam is a, you know, a big rodent, which is supposed to be very clever, a clever animal. And that's why you might have chosen that, that Guampini. As for the, uh, for the Polyphemus, the, the monster here, the name which is substituted with is Chikutumwe. You know, it sounds onomatopoetic. I saw it showing, you know, sound imitation of the word. It's a monster that you could even, you know, detach anything. Chikutumwe. So my reading there will, come up, will be more or less a continuation from where my colleagues have stopped it because the adaptation is much more straightforward in this, in this book. So it's in Chichewa, a, a local language of Malawi. It's our official language. There is English as official language, but this is the official language which we use. And this text, just as I said, we use it for the literature for the uh, secondary schools, and it has been used for quite a long time. Um, so, Brampini Anachita Odi, Sadam Veli Undiri Modzilomwe. Once Adangolo, Pupez and Jalai Dawapota, Adiense Adao Dula Nyama Kuti Awoche Monga Dakatera, Ataja Adamira Vino. Yemwe adabwira nai. Akucheza adamva pogo so lankosa ni mbuzi zo mwezi kubwira. Me, 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 me. Be, 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 be. Lo, 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 zonse zidalo wa. Koma mbusa wa osama, osana, osama wana. Zidali nkosa ni mbuzi tu za zikulu zikulu. Ndiye ngati ngombe kukula kwa she. Posa kalisa adamva kukoso mwana. <coughs> and kena ko mwini wake wakutubukira. Mwini wake yo sadam, sadam mwezi mwazi maso. Ayi. Adango fikira kugwesa ntolo wake wankuni. Kena kongu kuteka pa komo, ndiki tantwe. Kuteka pa komo. Wampini adamu ya ngana. Onse adamu ya ngana. Andi anaka, onse anabisa kukona. Uopa, ni manta. Onse ananjenjemira. Chimuendo uko. Diso, ladikuru, pampumi. Chidari chikutumbwe. Mene hada cheuka adango ya ngandisa, adango ona chikutumbwe. Tia ntuta samira na samira na Ndiye icho chida sekerira na chifusa Ndinu ya ni no. Ndinu ya ni Mwampini adayanga Ndife angitao Ndiwe ya ni uku ya nkulawe Ndine ndingolira okay. Masanga sanga chida, chida gwira antwa Wiri miendo ndu kwa menye saba mozi mitu yokai yokai Ntawe yomwe yoko wapo nyeratu nkama Mozi mozi nkumeza gwijo gwijo Pamene ama linyero Ama linyero wada sisima ni manta, chindani cha ocho chidate nga ndowa zitatu zankaka, kumwera, kutitira, kumwera maantu waja kutantweko. Kena ako mkuwata afuna, kumenya aso ina kuwata afuna. Kena ako mkutitira aso ni ndowa ziwiri, zoza za nimkaka opika. Chitaturu kwa wampini, adao mba manja ndi kukwede za mtu. Ata una jintengo cha chikuru, adao chisongo, landipu, kuchisonga, na, na uza anzake kuti usiku ukare cheru. Kukuda kudamvika ansu, me, 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 bere, 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 bere. Chirombo chitaturu kila, ndi kuwa kurumunya, ngati suwiti. Anagwira ansu antawiri, kwa kurumunya, kwa mwameza ngati suwiti. E, ta, ta, tango furu milanai iwe, chidayanga. Wampini ya at, atanina anachifusa kukodi munaabu wako vinyo oteke mera. Tango furu mila nayo, chidayanka. Chita lawa vinyo chikunumbe chidabu wikira, ndiku pe mpanso wina. Kena kwa chidali zandi zandi, kule zera, china gonaturo, china gonaturo. Iwe ndiza kuja komaliza. Chifuka ndi waule mundu uomvera. Mosa chedu wa wampini ya datenga chintengo josongo la chija, na chika pa moto, moto, kuika pa moto. Chita fira dao zanzake kuti atandize kubaya adisu la chikundubu. Kutenga chitengo cha kubaya adisu la chikumbuku uchikudumbu. Sada jedwe, adachi nyamu la chitengo jendiku chiponya mnyonga didi so chirombo uchum. Paka tutu, kututuka. Apo chitafula, ndiku ula, anzake onsa adabwira. Ukulira anji, hoho, ukulira anji. Aku ndipa kunu, ndingo lira. Ndingo lira, anzake wadafusa. Sona potu kungo lira, balira. 
kutaacha hapo mpini ndi anzake adadzimangirira kumimba kwa nkosa kumimba kwa nkosa kutuluka mu mukevu kufufu za chikonongwe sina peza munthu wa khungu pa panja anthu aja adadzimasula ndi kuthawa adau ya mbasule ndo ndipo ali mkati mwa nyanja kwa mpini adafula tsala tsala iwe nechiponya ndi mphamvu zake zonse wafuna kuti aphe anthu aja chiwa geni Pangono mono onse adaka adakafa chimwala chidagwera pafupi ndi ngalawa anakenda chimwala kafika pafupi ndi ngalawa ndipo pangono pangono ngalawa azo zidatembe muzika ukunama ndi bambwanga madzimo sakusiyane chikutumbwecho chidafula urendo udali pakati koma ndi chisoni tsikasebwa mpini translation the interesting thing i need to add there is um, in the odyssey uh, Odyssey has chooses uh, the name of nobody, but here Bwampini uh, chooses the name of um, I'm just merely crying. My name is just crying, merely crying. So much so that when he was, his eye was pierced by, 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 by Odysseus and his men, he started crying. And when the pharaoh cyclops were asking, why are you crying? He just, he, he, he said, uh, so so is killing me. The, me crying, a mere crying is killing me. So they said, if you are mere crying, keep on crying. <laughs> That's it. So we switch on to the English one. He was enlarged of all the more by my words, and shattering the crest of a tall cliff. He held it at us so that it fell seaward of a broad part vessel and almost struck the steering oar. The water surged beneath the stone, and as it fell, and the backwash like a tidal swell from the open sea, carried the ship landward and drove it into the shore. But seizing a long pole in my hands, I pushed the boat off, and losing the men ordered them with urgent signs to bend to the oars and save us from disaster. They bent to the oars. They bent to the oars and rowed. But as soon as we we had put water behind us and doubled our distance, I began shouting to the cyclops. Both the men around me called out on every side, trying to deter me with their appeals. Why provoke the savage to anger in this stubborn way? <coughs> the rope he threw, the log he threw into the sea, just now drove the ship back on the shore and we thought we were done for if he had been able to hear us speak but a word he would have heard another jack stone and crushed our heads and the ship's timbers with the power of his fur so they argued but could not daunt my ardent spirit and i shouted to him again in anger Cyclops, if any man asks how you came by brightness Say that Odysseus, Saka of Ceres, Lattes' son, a native of Ithaca, named you. At this he groaned, and he said in an answer, Aras, the truth of the prophet spoken long ago is fulfilled. Thomas the seer, son of Eremus, a tall fine man, lived here once, the greatest of, of prophets and grew old here as sincere among the cyclopses. He told me that all oh, this would come to pass one day, and I would lose my sight at Odysseus' hands. But I always expected some tall, fine one of the greatest strength, and now pen good for nothing, weakening blinds my eye. After praying me with wine, come here, Odysseus, nevertheless, so that I might grant you guest gifts and egg the greatest F. Shega to see you home. Since I'm his son and he says he's my father and he of his will can heal me. Where, where no other of the breast gods or men can, I replied saying, I wish I could love you of life and spirit and send you to the house of the heads, as sure as the earth shaker will fail to heal you, your eye. You. That's, the, that's the final reading. No, no. 
Okay, it's for, yeah, one but oh, yeah, yeah. Can, can, can you find out that it's not a fine of it? Can, can yes. you? So, at my words, he stretched out his hands to the starry heavens and prayed to the Lord Poseidon. Hear me, Poseidon, dark traced earth bearer. If I am your son, if you say you are my father, let Odysseus, sacker of cities and son of Laertes, never reach his home on Ithaca. Yet, if he is destined to see his friends and his fine house in his own country, May he come there late and in sore distress, in another's ship, losing all comrades, and let him find great trouble in his house. So he prayed, and the dark-tressed god heard him. Then the cyclops lifted an even larger rock, swung it in the air and hurled it with all his strength. It fell not far behind our blue-proud ship, narrowly missing the tip of the steering oar and the sea surged up around the falling stone and its wave carried the ship forward and drove it to the far shore. So we reached the island where our other oared ships lay with our friends round them watching for us and weeping. There we beached our vessel and went on shore. We landed the Cyclops flocks from the hold and divided them among us so that as far as I could determine no man lacked an equal share. The ram my comrades in arms granted to me as a separate gift. And when the flocks had been divided there on the shore, I sacrificed his use of the dark clouds, son of Kronos, lord of all. And I burned the thigh pieces. But he ignored my sacrifice, planning instead the destruction of my oared ships and my faithful friends. All day long till sunset we sat feasting on our plentiful supplies of meat and sweet wine. And when the sun was down and darkness fell, we settled to sleep on the sand. As soon as rosy-fingered dawn appeared, I roused my men and ordered them to embark and loose the horses. They boarded swiftly and took their place on the benches. Then, sitting in their rows, struck the grey water with their oars. So we sailed on, with heavy hearts for the loyal friends lost, though happy to have escaped death ourselves. All right, so, so then that marks the end of our reading here. We were reading parts from, as I said, line 105 uh, to the end of the book. And as we said, you were with uh, the head of the department, uh, Dr. Stephen Yamilandu. Maybe you could show him over there. Uh, you were with uh, two members of staff. Dr. Mike Chapo over here and myself, Chikondi Medson, and they were with also these two students of Greek, uh, Dorothy Puka and Patrick Kachimanga. Uh, so, and I will let the head say five minutes. Okay, uh, uh, the cameraman, the video man is um, Jonathan Galauka, who has been teaching for us for, for, for ages. Uh, he's a member of staff as well on part-time basis. He teaches third years, even fourth years. So he's been with us for quite a, 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 a long time. Uh, the, 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 um, it, uh, it was a wonderful opportunity, once more, for us to be afforded this opportunity to uh, have a video uploaded from University of Malawi. And we should uh, uh, once again thank uh, uh, the Center for Hellenic Studies, and uh, of course through Mark Asher and Lana and Madeleine uh, that we've managed to be captured on this one. It would be wonderful for us to, uh, to uh, do it from Malawi, at least to see a video coming out. And more so that we chose an episode where we had an adaptation from, uh, from Malawi uh, by, by, by uh, Miros Ziko, which was written in 1965. The first printing was in 1965, even before the classics department here was established. So that's a wonderful opportunity. Unless you have something to say, you, you may no, want to comment fine, on something. Think, uh, it's fine. Right, yes. Okay. So, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We forgot about, you know, have you switched off?